Pray, bless the heaven. It's a new day, another day. Great day. Yeah, the park is peaceful. That's why I own. Um, to tell you the truth, that you mentioned that, that's why I walk, uh, I, I had to tell myself to go ahead on and do that because it's so peaceful. You know, it's just, you get in my head and enjoy the scenery and it's always good, man. It really is. I must say, all the time. That's uh, a thing to do. We paying for it and, you know, for the upkeep of it. It, it really and truthfully, it ain't free. So that's why I said before, man, I wouldn't be at this motherfucker every chance I get. <laughs> for real. You know, that's how it works. Every chance I get. Yes, this is tea I got I'm going to throw my tea bag in it on the side it's out, out of view it's weather it's a trip it's always a trip but mm, it's getting worse global warming or climate change I guess that's the new you know, the new thing is, you know, it's the same thing, but the new thing. But anyway, it don't really get all that, I, all that easy, um, necessarily. Life, you know, it, it, it could get easy because you make it easy in your world. Like, you make it easy. But I think about just think about this though. Um, most of the really expensive cars, I guess most of them are sports cars, but I don't know. Like they be two seaters. Shit, they could be whatever. They could be luxury like I don't know what. You could sell two seaters. You ain't gonna have no posse in your car, man. No, you know. It's just not, it's, it's highly unlikely. You're going to be in many situations like that. And for those situations, you have some type of uh, whatever type of vehicle. For that situation, if that shit arrives, motherfuckers ride on private jets and shit, man. Right? I'm just saying, so now that that might be the ride. You could hitch a ride going somewhere or something, you know. But just riding around, man. Just me or me and my old lady or me and my partner, or me and my son, or me, you know, like, I guess you get something else for the fa if it's a family outing. And you got a family, take out the limo. Even with money, I'm speaking on. Uh, you know, everybody ain't able to do that kind of shit. It's the same thing. It's something to think about. And I am going to make the program. I'm not going to keep saying it. I got some stuff I need to do. I really need to do it. The working. Doing other things. I ain't, I ain't been getting this digital, my digital products together. 
it's gotta I gotta pick days, you know. I think that's 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 the best way to do it. And you learn when you're doing it, stuff. It's uh like I say, even if they got a blueprint, that's not you got to customize it for yourself, for your life, how you live, you know. As far as entrepreneur working for yourself, you might have, you know, put in super long hours if that's what you gotta do. Fortunately, I ain't got it. Well, I put in some hours. It depends on, on the day. I do and I don't. I do. I do what I do. I get shit done. It's, it's, it's a process. And, um, okay. What was I thinking? Like, energy. Man, energy, vibrations, and just uh, those vibes. I've was, uh, I guess it depends on what you believe, how deep it goes, but you, you, you phase out of alignment. If you, if you, I guess you could go so low. And you could go so high that you're going to phase out of alignment with most people, average people, and below average people. You can't help but to be no other kind of way. Like, that's, that's what I was noticing, like that the reality is not what we think it is, you know? And like, uh, I'm gonna say Abraham or whoever said, whoever, many, that, you know, you, you, how you, think and view things is what you attract and and the um, everything vibrates, everything is in motion. And people now you know people are always in vibration, but people now or and maybe always have been, are vibrating. Fate, you know, I thought it was a game. Well, not a game, but you don't know how real it is until you see how real it is. That you can phase out of uh, alignment with people and basically they be gone. You know, just, uh, they really be gone. It's just the way it is. You know, like when, when you cut that cord or whatever, they more or less gone. Even when you talk to them, it's like they're not, you know, you don't know, see like, like they be like NPCs. Like, they're not really there. They're just a shell. It's just a head rattling, running their mouth, talking stuff that don't really make no logical sense or whatever. And they don't have no time. It don't matter, like, but they don't have no time for you because they really so busy always Juggling shit, which we all are, but I'm talking about drama, nonsense, because they have so much going and always 
working their kind games and stuff. They only have so much in that energy for that to go around. So, um, that too. So, I, I used to say, like, I feel sometimes that when when I wake up, it's like a different universe. Some some things are going on. You know how they say what they call that shit, the Man Mandela effect. Some shit just be too off. It's not right. But I and but I used to always wonder, well, why are you here? Always. And and this is my son. I I wonder about it until he phased his ass out. Between him downgrading and me upgrading, we phase out of each other's paths, you know. Like, like I said, he don't want to talk. It's so it's like a phenomenon though with these teenagers. So I'm a phenomenon because I I because of mine because I know one. And I hear stuff, so I don't know if that's enough, for, you know, for me for me to define it as a phenomenon. But in my mind, I think it's see, that's what I'm saying. Perception in my mind is bigger. You know, your world is your world. So everybody say <laughs> two people. Everybody say. So it's got to be that. It's got to be a phenomenon. But they they not speak yeah, you know, it's factors, things do be that generational things. And it's always uh that's that, huh? Generation gap, I think, whatever. The gap. Not being able to communicate, that's different worlds anyway. But however, or it, it felt like a clone. Sometimes, yeah, it's like clones. Like we deal with clones, replicas, replacements. And then, why, why, you know, all my references relate back to movies. I, I watch the ass of movies, so. And then while I'm watching one yesterday, but it was doing just that, going, they had a mirror that they could step through and go to the other dimension and they have all the duplicate people and everything, you know, and they could come back and drag shit back, people too. So, They had um, man. I don't want to spoil it in case you see it. They had a lot of a lot. They had some people they replaced, and then some other other movie that they was replacing people. Oh, shield with the robots. They replaced the whole crew. Pretty much. Yeah, speaking of that, 14 minutes into this, um, I'm watching that. Ben's watching that on Netflix. And Disney pulled the plug on their ass. And I'm looking all over for it. Like, what the hell? What the hell? Because I was watching it, you know. Kind of regularly, I guess I could have finished it, but I want to take, you know, not over do it, you know, all at once and end up going back. And that shit, all the Marvel shit gone, all the Marvel Disney shit gone. Uh, 
I guess Marvel and Disney shit. So they look a little, I mean, they fat, don't get me wrong, but they look a little thin in, in the you know, Spider Man, Spider Man. You can have all your little hero shows and shit, and it'll be great, but Spider Man, Spider Man. They do have the DC shit. Oh. Man, I think. And that's always about them dimensions. Talk about them. Just what I'm naming. All those things. They, they deal with the multiverse a lot. Something else, man. It's just a lot of that. It's just a lot of that. As a theme. Who knows where it ends. They say you got to protect your energy from the, from the clowns, from the vampires trying to suck it out you. And they will if you let them. And it's the I don't know how people be lonely, lonely and bored. I I just it's so hard for me to relate to. Cause I I could just I really could do nothing. I'm gonna be doing something, sitting, standing, whatever, but you know, like I could do nothing. I don't know how long how many days or weeks or whatever, I'd be all right doing nothing. But I could do nothing. Like, mostly nothing. I had to plant something, pull weeds out the ground or something, you know, like, you know, but I'd be pretty content just chilling. But, like, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of day in the day. I guess I would, you know, sit outside a lot, just I without doing anything. I I, I still don't know. Like I said, I don't know how, how long I could do that, but um, a minute, preferably, be a nice place and entertain you with that. Indefinitely. The more, the more indefinite. <laughs> That's what I say. And um, yeah. Cause, and then it's just always so much that you could do, could be doing, but many people think that you can only do one thing, so they couldn't do something else, and even in the pandemic or hurricane or some situation where you trapped like fuck, like Chuck, stuck, and still wouldn't explore drawing, writing your book. Everybody want to write a book, huh? Kind of. That's bad. That's bad for business. I'm um, 